I'm coming to you live today. Today is my first Periscope. And so thanks for the love. And so if you can hear me, leave me a message. How about that? Let me know that you can hear me. Send me up some love if you can hear me. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so today I wanted to speak about the reasons why people fail with their resolutions, like their New Year's resolutions. And a lot of times what happens is they give up. Like, this is the second quarter of the year. We just started it. And already people are saying that, what resolutions? I'm not doing that right now. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's weight loss or a business goal or some other dream like saving up for vacation. You know, around this time of year, because they didn't do what they needed to do to accomplish the goal, they've given up. And so I wanted to bring back to mind how you can revive those goals and actually reach them. So I'm going to start with a story because it's so relevant. Um, I was speaking to a friend the other day and she was saying, she was asking me to take a look at a business. And I'm like, another business? I mean, this is like the fifth business in less than three months. And I know her to be a person that jumped from business to business. And so I wondered, like, what's going on? Like, why do you keep jumping from business to business? And her response was, oh, they just don't work. Well, you know, in my mind, it's like, it's not the business that doesn't work. It's you that are not, that's not working. But I would not ever say that to her. I needed her to be able to say it for herself. And so I, I took her through a few questions of what she was actually looking for. And the root of the issue was she's a gambler. So I said, you know, like, why put yourself in a position to keep getting disappointed by joining business after business? Why not just save up some money and visit the casinos maybe once or twice a year? This way you having some fun, you enjoying, you, you enjoy doing what you're doing, and you might make some money. You know, so I'm going to bring that back to losing weight. See... You might want to lose a certain amount of weight, but if you're not doing what's necessary, if you don't get to the root of the issue, it's not going to happen. And so here's what I propose that you might want to do. You might want to revisit your goals. Say it's 10 or 20 pounds. First, before you even start dieting or working out, start doing some mindset work. Start reading self-help books and personal development books. You know, like maybe the Mary Kay story or Abraham Lincoln's story. You know, see how many times they actually started out accomplished, you know, trying to accomplish their goals and didn't actually succeed. And then you'll understand that it's not an easy feat to actually accomplish your goals. You have to do certain things. And like I'm saying, you have to work on your mind. So working on your mind means doing certain things. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start journaling. You want to journal about what your goal is, like why you want to accomplish 10 pounds. Why do you want to lose it? And this, this reason why needs to be as big as big as life. You know, like it needs to be something that you just must do because if you don't, it's, it's worse than dying. And it can't be because of a person. And I know a lot of times it's because it's for my children or it's um, I, I just want to be like so-and-so or, you know, something to that effect. It has to be bigger than that. It has to be about you. It has to be for your life, for the things that you want. And then you want to start writing down how you're going to feel when you get there. Because you're going to get there. You know, and that should be a very good feeling. You should feel it in your body. Your body should almost vibrate when you think about how you're going to feel. So 
you're going to be doing this like every day. You need to journal every day, either when you first wake up, wake up in the morning or right before you go to bed at night. And I wouldn't suggest that because you might be vibrating so much that it might stop you from going to sleep. But you do want to journal. You want to write down your whys. Okay. Then you want to start envisioning it actually taking place. You want to see it in your mind's eye that you've lost the weight and you're doing the things that you've always wanted to do. You want to see in your mind's eyes exactly what you're going to look like and you want to hold that vision and you want you want to make that vision so real that you can almost almost touch it. You can see it. You can feel it. And you want to do this for at least 90 days before you even start working out or doing any kind of diet. Now, once you start doing the diet, you want to give yourself permission to fail. You know, you're not looking to, but you want to give yourself permission to fail. And if you find that you're failing too much, then you need to go back to your journal and find out what that's all about. Okay, so you want to start um, eating, you know, because see, when you journal and you doing the um, envisioning, what starts to take place is a different chemical effect takes place in your mind that really will have you wanting to eat different things. Let me tell you what happened with me. It started with me. Well, my, my journey is a very long journey. I, it's, I, I've been able to keep my weight down for a very, 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 very long time. But last year, I was suffering with a chronic condition that really had me bedridden. And I started the same, very same process that I'm stating to you. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it. But I started this very same process. And what happened for me was after about three months, I found myself wanting to get back into doing a multi-level marketing business again. You know, and I still continue doing my morning routine, which consists of the vision, the personal development, and this one other thing that I'm going to tell you about, and it's called, a, you know, like a nutritional supplement. I mean a premium nutritional supplement, something that you can do that will set your body up to actually have all the nutri nutrition or nutrients that you need for the day. Now, I started doing that last year, and I tell you, by I started in June, I mean, started I started in January, and by May... I was a, a full vegetarian. It had, I worked on my mind so much that I actually no longer wanted to eat meat. I didn't have a taste for it. I, I actually, actually lost the taste. And to this day, I'm still unable to eat meat. I'm, I'm strictly a vegetarian, so it, that might not happen for you. But what happens is you will start to diet in your mind. The mind, the mind is where everything starts. You, you know, you have to first think about it in your mind, and then you manifest it into your reality. But I promise you, if you start working on your mindset first, the diet is 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 easy. That's that's going to be the easy part. Then you can start to work out because once you start feeling energetic because you're losing weight, you won't have a problem walking a mile or a mile or two a day, you know. And so I just want to say give yourself permission to maybe eat something that you, that's not on your list. It's okay. You know, it's fine. You're human. And it may just be something that's tied to your emotions because all of this is tied to your emotions. And that's why you have to do mindset work. You have to get to the root of the problem. And the root is in your mind. And it's tied to your emotions. So you want to make certain that these are the techniques that you put in place first before you even step out to lose 30 pounds, 50 pounds, you know, something so dramatic. But it can happen. And it won't happen overnight. Rome wasn't built overnight. And you're not going to lose weight overnight. But you will start the process. Another tip I'm going to give you 
is marry the journey and divorce the results. You know, like, don't keep getting on the scale every day looking for confirmation that you're doing the right thing. Know in your heart that you're doing the right thing, that it's going to happen if you keep doing what you're doing. Do everything in moderation. You know, even if you want to hang out and sip, sip, sips or drink drinks, <laughs> however you call it, you know, if you want to do that, it's fine. Just do it in moderation. Um, and I think that is all I have for you. So if you have any questions, now is the time. Any questions? I can't see that little writing. Hi, Jen. Okay, so let me see what else I can give you since Jen is here now. So, um, yeah, so don't be afraid to fail. You know, if, if, if one day you fall off your diet, that's fine. You know, one day is not going to kill you just like one day is not going to make you the most healthy person or the person that's going to lose the most weight. It's absolutely fine. Give, your, give yourself permission to actually fail. And so, hi, Do Desmond. Um, so, basically, those are the tips I have for you today. I do apologize, Desmond, if you're just getting here. But if you have any questions, you're welcome to ask them now. You know, feel free. Ask me any questions. Give me some love. Let me know you're still out there. You know, otherwise... I'm going to wrap up this presentation. I'll see you back here next Friday. I know you just came, Desmond, but I actually have gone through the presentation, and I basically went through several tips. It should have been about 10 tips. You was on. Oh, okay. Okay. And so I'm going to wrap it up. Now, here's what's going to happen next Friday. Next Friday, I have two Periscope accounts. Mm -hmm. I will be on every Friday. Friday, but on this Karen, I Karen one account, I will be talking about network marketing tips and how to make your, your journey an easy journey, how to really put yourself in a position to get success, to accomplish the goals that you set for yourself, and maybe even how to set goals. You know, we'll see as we go along, but that's what I'm going to do on this channel every Friday at three o'clock on this on at four o'clock on my Karen Wilkins channel, I'm going to be giving health tips. Okay, I, I started today for the first time. This is my first day doing Periscope, and so today for the first time, I decided to do health tips on this channel because I know a lot of people are actually having issues with. Their goals that they set, the New Year's resolutions that they set, and you do the same work to accomplish weight loss goals that you do to start a business, to stay in business, to uh, save up money. It's the same work because it starts in your mind. And so I decided to do the weight loss over here on this channel, but next Friday, 3 o'clock, on this channel will be network marketing tips, and at 4 o'clock on my other channel, which is Karen K. Wilkins, is actually K. Wilkins, that channel is going to be health tips. Okay, so with that being said, I do appreciate everyone who was in, in attendance today. I, I really appreciate the love that you've given me, and I hope that this was of some value for you. If it was, go to my Facebook page, which is Winning Mindset Strategies. You know, let me know if you got any value, as well as any information, any tips, any strategies that you might want to hear about so I can incorporate it into my presentations on Friday. In the meantime, have a wonderful, empowering day. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next presentation. Bye for now.